Hello everyone, welcome back to My Chem Corner. So in today's video, we're going to do first question from the exercise of structure of atom from class 11. So the first question is calculate the number of electrons which will weigh 1 gram. So what we have to find out is if we have 1 gram, what is the how many number of electrons can we have in it? So for this, the first thing in standard that we should know is that mass of one electron is 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram. This is a standard value which is the mass of one electron. Now, therefore, number of electrons that weigh these many kilograms which is 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg is just one electron. So what we have done is these two statements are just written the other way. Okay. Now therefore number of electrons that weighs 1 gram is equal to. So here we need to find out how many electrons will weigh 1 gram. So for that we know what is the mass of 1 electron. right? So when we know that number of electrons that weigh this much is equal to 1, therefore we need to calculate number of electrons that will weigh 1 gram. So this 1 gram, since this is in kilogram, I am just converting 1 gram to kilogram, which will become 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. Alright, now what we have to do is just cross multiply them. Alright, now when we cross multiply them, this is going to be 1 divided by, this 1 is the 1 electron. Alright, so 1 electron divided by 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg into 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg. After doing this, when you divide 1 by this value into 1, you will get 0 0.1098 into 10 to the power. Minus 31 when it goes up, it becomes plus 31 minus this 3 that's given here. So this will become 0 0.1098 into 10 to the power minus plus 31 minus 3 will become 28. These many, this is equal to 1.098 into 10 to the power 27. Alright, so these many number of electrons will be present in 1 gram. Alright, so this is the number of electrons. This is how you calculate the very first question. Alright. Next question is calculate the mass and charge of one mole of electron. So here you need to calculate what is the mass and what is the charge of one mole of an electron. So here for the second one mass and charge is what you have to calculate. So we know here mass of one electron is a standard value, right? That is equal to 9.10939 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. But what is asked to us? One mole of an electron. So therefore, we can say that one mole is equal to what? Avogadro number of electrons. So 6.022 10 to the power 23 electron. Right. So therefore we can say that mass of 1 mole of electron is equal to Avogadro number of electrons into the mass of 1 electron. 9.10939. 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Now when you multiply both of this, you will get 
5.48 10 to the power minus 31 plus 23 will give minus 7 kg. So this is the first thing that says mass of 1 mole of an electron. The second one is telling about mass of, sorry, the charge of 1 electron. Okay. First one was mass, second was charge. So we know that the charge of 1 electron is how much? 1.6022 10 to the power 19 coulomb. Therefore, charge of 1 mole of electron is what? 1 mole of electron is the same way. You take the Avogadro number 6.022 10 to the power 23 into 1.6022 10 to the power 19. When we multiply both of this, you will get 9.65 10 to the power 23 plus 19. Sorry, minus 19. 23 minus 19 will give you 10 to the power 4 coulomb. So this is how you find out when they ask 1 mole. So this term is very important. Wherever you see 1 mole, so you need to involve Avogadro number of molecules. Alright, so this is how you solve the first question.